In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create CUDA version using Laravel 7 and Bootstrap Mac. First of all, you have to install a fresh copy of Laravel 7 project by running this command. I have already uh, created the project, so I will see you the version here. So run CMD from here and take the version you can see the version is 7.1.3 now go for the next step step <coughs> 4 uh, create the database connection I have already created a blank database named Laravel uh, which is uh, blank now and no table is created and uh, now I will open the project from any editor and using a subline here level 7 okay now I open the .env file and check the connection is Okay, or not. Uh, for localhost, uh, password will be empty, and our database is Lara. Now, uh, go to step 5 create uh, the migration file for table customer. So, run the command from here. Uh, if the migration file is created properly, then you will get it uh, from this folder database migration and this is the migration file now go to step 6 and I will create a, a four fields for customer table ID name email and address ID and time stamps are already uh, added here so I will add the three lines from step 6 copy these lines and uh, paste it inside this box okay now uh, go for step 7 run the migrate command to create the table in your database uh, now check the database the table is created properly and also if I take the structure then you can see ID, name, email, address, and other details. Now run this command to create a resource controller for customer table. There will be Devon hyphen. Okay, controller is created. And now go to step 9, create the model for customer table. Okay, uh, now step 10, uh, uh, change the model with this code, uh, which will uh, validate the three fields are mandatory. So our model will be created in app folder and we we'll just replace this code. A yeah, protected variable means these three fields are uh, checked for validation and it will be mandatory field. Now go to step 11 add the controller file. Controller file will be under app SPP controller and this is the controller customer controller. Okay I will add the code of step 11 or modify the uh, code of controller with this code just copy it and uh, replace all the code with this code. Okay, uh, there are some method index which will be the uh, starting method of the controller and create to create new customer store to uh, save new customer or update any existing customer and edit to read any existing customer and destroy the delete any customer. 
I am not using update method here. Now open the web.php file to add the necessary route. Now open the web.php file uh, which is under route folder and add these lines. Save the file and this is for resource controller and uh, this line is for editing the existing data. Now create to view files <coughs> under view customers folder. So a view folder is under resource folder. This is our uh, view folder. I will create a new folder customers. And under this folder I will create these two files. Layout dot blade dot php and another file index dot blade dot page okay and uh, go to step 14 to add the code for layout file layout file will uh, contain a link of all necessary JS and CSS files and necessary jQuery code okay save the file and now go to step 15 for index thread. Copy that code and paste the index thread. Save the file and check all file is set. Okay, now your uh, project is ready to run. Okay, now I will take the code uh, from any browser. Uh, local host Laravel Laravel 7 code public customers. Okay, our database is blank. Okay. If I browse this table, it is empty now, so I will add a new customer from this box. Um, okay. Here you can see the new record is added here, and if I browse this, you can see it is there. Uh, it is added and now if I edit it you can see the value is added. In this way I will add uh, four or uh, more record here to check the pagination is working or not. Uh, you can see the pagination is uh, working and uh, each page it is showing four records. And now I, uh, I will add it in a new record. It's working and if I delete in a new record, it is showing the record is deleted. In this way, you can uh, create a uh, Laravel 7 code project using the step model. Thank you for watching.